I need to say something, and it's really important. I don't hate you. I wish I didn't have to say this first before we can discuss our disagreements, but it's really common that people who simply disagree are being called haters. But it's not true. In fact, the opposite is true. If I hated you, I wouldn't care about you enough to disagree with you. You might see things differently when I disagree with you, and I'm open to hearing about that and trying to understand where you're coming from and how you see any issue we disagree on. But would you please return that favour? We might not be able to change each other's mind, but can't we at least give each other the credit of sincere motives instead of easily assuming that disagreement only ever comes from hate, bigotry, intolerance, unfair discrimination, and latent phobias? I don't think we're enemies. I think we're neighbours. It's because I love my neighbours that I care about policies which may not affect me directly, but I consider it my neighbourly duty to care about justice and truth in our discussion. I'm not trying to make you lose and me win. I want us all to win. I think all our neighbours win if we give up the need to win or be right and instead, between us, prioritise finding out the answer to the question, what is right? If I'm wrong, you won't be doing me any favours by leaving me unaware of it. If I'm wrong, and we all can be sometimes, I'd like to know about it sooner rather than later. Wouldn't you? So if I'm disagreeing with you, I'm actually trying to treat you like I want you to treat me. Like you and I each have the ability to see things from a different perspective. I want to foster a culture of intellectual honesty, an ability to consider facts and evidence and arguments which may convince me I'm wrong. I really don't hate you. Please know that when I disagree with you, it's because I think that the issue is too important to get wrong, and because I believe the best about you. If a stranger was at risk of walking off a cliff, it wouldn't hurt me personally, and it technically isn't my business. But you and I would both try to warn them, try to help them, and even risk hurting their feelings by yelling at them to stop. The facts are more important than our feelings, and it's a duty of care as good neighbours to speak up when others are about to get hurt. When I try to fight against what I see as injustice or lies from my perspective, it's not because I think I'm superior or better than you. It's because I've thought about it heaps and am quite certain about what's just and true. Of course, that doesn't mean I'm right and everyone else is wrong, but that's what the following debate and discussion will try to narrow down. What is true? And what is good for our nation? But that discussion can't even happen if you dismiss everything I say before I've even said it as some kind of manifestation of my hate or other personal criticism of me. I'm quite sure that there's a lot of fake news going around, and I want us to get to the bottom of it together. I feel like I've got something to add to this conversation, and that however I formed my conclusions and convictions, they're still as valid as yours or anyone else's. I'm not trying to impose my beliefs on you any more than anyone else in a pluralistic, inclusive democracy like ours does. At the end of the day, 51% of people will be impo imposing their beliefs on everyone, if you want to put it that way. But I expect to have to persuade the majority with facts and evidence. I don't think that can really be called an imposition. Just democracy, whatever that's worth. For the record, I think your voice and opinion and arguments are just as valid and worthy of being discussed as anyone else's. And I hope you can come around to seeing me the same way, without making huge assumptions about my motives or character or intelligence and dismissing me before we've even had a chance to consider each other's opinions and arguments. They say ignorance is bliss, but I don't think anybody really wants to be ignorant just because the truth might hurt their feelings or be inconvenient. I don't believe in my truth. It's an oxymoron. If I own it, it's subjective, relative, and not constantly true. My truth is just a politically correct name for my opinion or perspective. What I really value 
is objective truth. I want to get to the real heart of the matter and find out what's really going on, regardless of perspective, opinions, or feelings. Don't you? So please don't call me a hater. Please don't call me a bigot. Please don't label me with some mental illness like a phobia simply because we disagree. The fact is, I love you like a neighbor, even if we've never met. I would shout out to you if you were about to get hurt. I hope you don't hate me if I do, but that's a risk I have to take because of how much I care about you and all my other neighbors. I just think if we can discover the truth together, it doesn't matter who gets the credit. There is no credit. We just want our nation to win. Anyway, if you can try to understand where I'm coming from, we can probably have a great dialogue, one we couldn't possibly begin if it was just assumed I hated you. That's what I want anyway, and I hope you do too. Let's talk about whatever it is we disagree on, starting with believing the best about each other. So let's pursue objective truth together, without easily hurt feelings. Because I don't hate you. Thanks for watching. If you really enjoyed that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a look at this great video next and check out the website for even more interesting articles and episodes later.